Hey, Mrs. Walcott here, and welcome back to my wild backyard. Um, we were talking yesterday about the water cycle, and we talked about how that it was um, water that goes around and around in our around our planet, around the Earth, um, and it um, forms our weather. And so it goes around and around, and just like the wheel on a bike goes around and around, a cycle. So we talked about uh, the top of the cycle here, and everybody drew a picture of a cloud. Now, a cloud... Um, Clouds have a scientific word I want to teach you today. It's called condensation. Let's say that. Con den say shun. A cloud occurs when teeny tiny water that's in the air. Um, the little tiny water droplets start to bump into each other and as they do so they start making bigger particles and they get heavier and heavier and soon they fall and as they fall out of the cloud we see rain usually rain but sometimes if the weather is 32 degrees those raindrops freeze and we might see snow um, sometimes they freeze as ice balls hail and so scientists um, have a word for that and they call the um, water coming out of the clouds they call it Precipitation. Precipitation. So precipitation could be rain, snow, hail. It comes out of the clouds. And then, as it comes down to the ground, we start to see water collecting. This could be a small collection, like a puddle in your driveway, or a big collection, like a lake. Uh, a river is a collection of water, streams and creeks. And so this, scientists call this accumulation or collection. mean the same thing accumulation collection of water so this is your lake your puddle that you can step in um, tomorrow we're gonna find out what happens to this collection of water it doesn't stay there remember the water goes around and around Thank you for coming, and I will look forward to seeing you next time on Mrs. Walcott's Wild and Windy Backyard.